Hello everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining me for another video. Um, my name is Canela Siraco. For those of you who are new watching, I am a fluid artist based out of uh, Ontario, Canada, more so Toronto area. Um, so for those of you who are new, welcome to my channel. Um, I would love it if you would hit that red subscription button and click on that notification bell. Um, and that way you're notified every time I post a new video to my channel. Speaking of channels, um, I wanted to thank everybody who headed on over to Lucas's channel. That's my son. He's 10 years old and he has his own YouTube channel where he does videos on his model trains. Um, a lot of you headed on over there, started watching the videos because I noticed the um, views went up and then the um, viewing hours have also increased. He still has a long way to go. Um, but for those of you who did go over there, thank you so much. And for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, if you'd like to help out my son and his channel, you can click on the link here up at the top. It's a playlist of all his videos and you can just click play and let it run. You could be cooking in the background. You, is, that's not an orb. That's a dust particle. Did anyone just see that? I saw that. <laughs> it's not an orb. It's just dust. <laughs> my dad's been here today working on construction. Anywho, back to my son, Lucas. Um, just let it play in the background while you're exercising, cooking dinner. You running those videos really helps my son's channel. Um, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back to the last video and I talk about it more in there. So thank you to everybody who's done that. Thank you, thank you so much. And thank Lucas says thank you too. He's like, Mommy, tell everybody thank you for me. I said, no problem, buddy, I will. Um, a lot of people were commenting on the furnace door in my new studio. Uh, and someone actually, one of my viewers, I died laughing and I love it and I'm going to use it. Hashtag Dutch pour the door. So I am going to Dutch pour the door. Um, it's not ready yet. I got to make sure my studio's finished first. Um, but I will Dutch pour the door and yes, I will videotape it. Of course I'm going to videotape it. How can I not videotape something so massive? It's going to be my biggest Dutch pour to date but I need my studio to be ready. My dad has been back after spending some time at home over the holidays. He's back now. He's been working a couple of days. There's a door now on um, where the concrete was blown out. Um, I'll, sh I'll try to remember to show that to you at the end of this video, but I have a door now and he put the um, framing all around it and he's put uh, drywall and everything. So progress is going. I don't know how long it's going to take, two, three weeks maybe, but at some point I'll be done and I'll be doing a new pour in that studio, hopefully by February. No, yeah, hopefully by February. We'll see. So I will Dutch pour um, the door. Um, you guys can see here, this is my circle Dutch pour. Uh, it's pretty much dry. Uh, so I wanted to show it to you guys. This is before resin. But look at the iridescent and I'm trying to see where I can find the uh, iridescent blue. Let me see. I know I saw it in there. Oh, yes, there it is. There it is. It's right here and around here. See if you can see it. Um, can you see it? I can kind of see it. Trust me, you can see it so much better in person, which is another thing a lot of people tell me. People who have ordered canvases off me or commissions or bought my pieces, every time they get it in the mail and open up the box, I always get an email saying, holy cow, it's a thousand times better in person. The colors are so much more vibrant in person. It's so much nicer. Yes, in person, it's a completely different thing from what you see here on camera. So um, this is going to be dry and I'm going to give it another day or so and then I'm going to resin that. So that'll be ready and it has sold. Um, so it will be going to its new home in the U.S. Um, when that's ready. Last thing I wanted to show you guys in the last video at the end, I showed you guys the new molds that I had. So I wanted to show you guys some of them that I finished. So here's the Believe. I did it with like a magenta kind of color, pinky color, with lots of 
chunky sparkles at the bottom and white sparkles at the top. So that's the Believe, put that over there. Then we have Welcome with purple and chunky glitter purple with sparkly white at the top. So is that backwards to you? Probably is, but this is the back. But anywho, that's the Welcome sign. And then uh, I showed you my feather. The dogs are back from their walk. <laughs> did you hear that um the feather i still have the feather i don't think i showed this to you in my last video it's kind of it's just like a little tray so it's got purple edge with purple chunky glitter in the middle so that's just a little tray it's about the size of my hand so there's a tray and then we have the alcohol inks so this was the moon with the wolf and this one sold this one's been spoken for but look at that see the clear and then you have the alcohol ink in there. Now I will do a video on how I made these and the other ones. Just give me time though, okay? Um, because I have now become a full-time teacher. Yes, that's right. Online learning, my kids are home for the next two weeks. They were supposed to go back this Monday, but it's been pushed another two weeks. <laughs> I just, you know, Lucas is so self-sufficient. He can do his work by himself, but Sophia cannot. And uh, she needs to be on her Google Classroom with um, the meetings and the, and the cameras and everything. And for the first two days, she was on my laptop and she was monopolizing my laptop the entire day. And I've got my whole life on that thing. My whole art life, everything is on that thing. And I don't trust her. So I went out and got her a Chromebook from Costco. Um, so she, cause now they have two more weeks and who knows, they may not even go back in two more weeks. They may even extend it even longer. So I said, you know what? Nope. She needs to have her own computer. Lucas has his own computer and now they're doing like schoolwork all day. And guess who has to be there to help her? Mommy, I don't understand this. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So now I'm a teacher too, all day long. Mom, teacher, dog, mom, uh, still doing construction. Now I'm a teacher too. So my time is very limited. So, um, here's my cat. This one's cute. This one's got purple and pink. This one is available. And then I have the fairy. Again, purple and pink. And this one, or is it this one? Nope, this one has sparkles in it. But you can't see it. Not on camera, you can't. So this one's available too. And then we have the unicorn. So that's got like a bluey turquoise with pink on top as well. So this one's really pretty too. I wonder if you can see that. You see that? Look at that. That's the alcohol ink. So this one's available too. So they're all available except for the wolf. They're about four and a half inches or so. So if you're interested, oh, I forgot one more. Now this one I goofed. This is the first time I actually put something in the mold other than resin. I wanted to put these cute little seashells in here. But because the mold is backwards and upside down when you're pouring into it, I wasn't thinking. And I wanted, <laughs> I wanted the shells at the bottom. And when I peeled it out of the mold, I was like, what? what? Oh, oh, man. So I mucked that one up. But this is blessed. And it's got seashells in it with blue and clear. So it looks like the water. So if anyone is interested in this one, this one's on sale. <laughs> this one's going to be discounted. Um, because I mucked up, but I don't want to throw it away. I know someone out there is going to like it and love it and want it. So if you want this one, this one's going to be on sale. The rest are not. Um, but if you're interested in any of those, um, please email me at canelaseraco at gmail.com and uh, let me know which one you want and I'll give you guys prices. So I'm going to move on to my canvas and we'll get started on tonight's pour or today, tonight. It's nighttime for me. It's uh, 6.30 on uh, January 8th, but you're watching this on Saturday morning. Be right back. All right, guys, welcome back. So what I have here is a 16 by 20 inch canvas. I've already gone ahead and flooded my canvas with my white paint which is my Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White mixed with Floetrol and water. And that is how I mix all my paints. And if you want to know how I mix those paints, you can check out the full video tutorial in video number 63. I will link it up here at the top for those of you who are new watching. 
Uh, I've already made sure that my canvas is level all the way around. You've got to make sure it is level, okay? Or else you're going to have a big problem. So get my torch. I'm going to pop the bubbles here real quick. Now I debated, I, you know, I thought, what colors am I going to do today? And you know what? I thought dark colors, dark, rich, deep colors. That is what I wanted to come up with because I walked the dogs this morning and let me tell you, it was freezing outside. I think it was like minus 15 out there. That's Celsius. Super cold and it's just winter is obviously here. So I thought, you know what? Dark, deep, rich winter type colors. So that is what I have chosen. And these are the colors I'm using. We've got Pewter by Deco Art. Then I have Thalo Blue by Grumbacher. And, you know, I've got Sterling Silver here by Deco Art, but I might change that. Um, then I have Permanent Blue Violet by Amsterdam. Then I have Iridescent Blue Black. This one's pretty by Pebeo Studio Acrylics. And topping it off with Greenish Blue by Amsterdam. I was thinking about this earlier and I, and I totally forgot. The only reason I was thinking of switching up the silver is because I'm doing it on a white base. So it's going to disappear in the white. And I'm wondering now if I should add, take that out and put antique copper instead. Yeah, I'm not putting the silver. Sorry for those of you who love silver. Um, and if I don't put antique copper, maybe you guys can see that. Can you see that? Those are my colors. You can't, probably can't even see that. And it doesn't matter anyway, because it's not like you can say to me and scream to me through the video, the camera and be like, no, I use this color. Um, but I'm trying to think, I totally meant to do this before hitting record, duh. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the copper because it's gonna add that one contrasting color because the antique copper is a little too dark. Um, I might, I'll just do that. Or of course, there's always gold. 24 karat gold. Nope, nope, nope. Copper. It's gotta go copper. Copper. So take out the silver. We are doing copper by Artist Loft. Now that is what I'm doing. And then I started thinking, well, what design am I going to do? Diagonal, across, some sort of funky. Oh, let's do a funky shape. Yeah. <laughs> See? I'm just going along right now, figuring it out as I go. Um, yeah, so let's do kind of like a bloop, kind of like that thing. I don't know how I'm going to blow it out. I got to think about how I'm going to blow, blow that out. All right. So let's go like so, like this, and end up here, there. Let's uh, let's try that and see what happens with that. So while I'm putting the paints down, I'm going to tell you guys a quick, crazy story. It happened about a month ago, and I totally forgot to tell you guys. So one day we're doing our construction thing, and we had uh, you know, some visitors come, you know, workers, and they opened the back door, not realizing the dogs were in the house, and they both escaped out of the back door into the backyard. Well, my husband's like, Juno, Echo, come here. Well, Juno came, no problem. Echo, no. Echo's like, nah, forget this. I'm outside. I'm playing. I'm going to play in the snow. He would not listen. Here I come with a bag of treats, trying to entice him to come inside. No, are you kidding me? He's playing Ring Around the Rosie with me with our boat who, that's parked in the backyard. He wanted no part of coming inside. And then after five minutes of trying to get him, he decides to run from the backyard to the front yard and take off down the road. Luckily, he didn't get hit by a car. And so I'm chasing after him. It's freezing outside. I'm chasing after him, screaming his name, calling his name. He's like, I'm not listening to you. I'm out of here. Block away, he runs into someone's backyard. I'm now trespassing into someone's backyard saying, Echo, Echo, come here, come here. Nope, I corner him in their backyard only for him to blow by me like a bullet, okay? Like a bullet, gone. And he ran past me out of the backyard, back to the front of the street. Before I could even get to the front of the street, by the time I got to the front of the street, I, I didn't know where he went, he was gone. And here I am bawling my eyes out, calling his name. I don't know if he went left or right, 
Then a car comes driving by and he's pointing. He's like, oh, he went that way. And I'm like, oh, okay, thanks. So I go down the road, hang right into another side street and he's in someone else's yard now. Now we're three blocks away, okay, at this point. And he's in this front yard and I'm calling him and he's not coming. And this woman comes out of her front door and she opens the door and she sees me on her property. And I'm like, my dog is over here, my puppy. I said, he's not coming to me. I said, I need help. And she took one look at him and she goes, come here, buddy. And what did he do? Do, 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 do. He went right up to her, tail wagging, all excited to see somebody new. And she grabbed him by the scruff of his neck and here I am bawling my eyes out. And this is when I had a black eye too, right? From my accident. So here I am bawling my eyes out, out of breath, pop, panting like crazy from running for so much. And she's like, I'm like, thank you so much. And she's like, oh, you're welcome. She's like, you know, I saw him through the window and I said to my husband, there's a wolf in our, in our yard. And I'm like, no, he's not a wolf, he's a husky. <laughs> So anywho, um, I didn't have a collar for him. I didn't have a leash for him. I didn't have anything for him. And she's like, well, how are you going to take him home? I said, I'll hold him by the neck and I'll take him home. I'll pick him up if I have to. She goes, no, 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 I'll drive you home. So she was kind enough to put me in her truck and she drove me home. Let me tell you how upset I was at that dog that day. But anyways, it all ended well. He didn't get hit by a car. He didn't die. I almost killed him myself, but... That was a story I kept meaning to tell you guys and I totally forgot, but he's a bad boy. He doesn't listen. Okay, got my colors down. Let's blow this out. So because I've got all the negative space in here, I'm going to blow it this way and then come this way. So let's start this way. This is going to be tricky because I'm going to blow it this way and then it's going to end up over here somehow. So this is the problem with funky designs, right? So let's, uh, let's see what happens. It's so rich, it's so dark, it's so blue, I love it. <laughs> I, I was like, when I was blowing, I didn't know which way to go and then I thought, you know what, just blow on top and that's what I did and I didn't end up mucking this up and I'm so excited. Um, my copper has disappeared a lot with the exception of up here in the corner and this beautiful blob right here and I actually like that blob. Um, Oh, I love it. It's so rich. The colors are so rich. What I am going to do is I'm going to blow this because it's literally teetering right on the end. And I know one drip is going to come down, but I want more to come down just to kind of um, make some design on the side of the canvas here. There we go. So that'll drip now down the side. This side looks beautiful. And so does this side. It needs a little touch up here. Oh, I'm so happy. It's so pretty. I really like the blue. And the purple's in there. There's some copper over here. Okay, I'm not touching and I'm not torching. I'm not going to do anything with this. I kind of, I'm looking at it in the camera and it's kind of like a, butterfly wings or am I just seeing things backwards here I don't know I really like it though I'm not going to touch anything I'm going to fix my sides and I'm going to be right back and I'll show you guys a close-up be right back all right everybody so here it is now of course before I show you guys the close-up don't forget to take your bamboo stick and scrape off those drips underneath your canvas super duper important do it all the way around all four sides uh come back to it 10 minutes later what look at this bugger no you're so lucky you landed in the white paint get out and you're dead 
Rest in peace, little guy. Get off my painting. What a bugger. Can you hear my daughter? She's upstairs playing video games with her friends online. Uh, okay, anywho, so uh, as I was saying, and as I rest in peace, little guy, um, get the drips all over. Those, see those drips? Got to get those, clear those off, scrape them, come back 10 minutes later, do it again, and then come back 10 minutes after that and do it a third time, and then you should be good to go. So let's uh, look at this close up. I think this is going to be pretty with the lights off, with the studio lights. But look how rich the colors are. I love the dark, dark colors. I'm really happy with this. I really, really like it. And that's the key. I have to really, really like it or else I'm going to scrape it. I got a few comments in my last video about, you know, oh, why did I scrape it? I loved it. I'm happy you loved it, but I didn't. You know, some, some comments said, um, you know, you should have just got another canvas and started again and just kept the other one. But you got to understand, if you're not happy with what you create, how can you sell it to someone else knowing you don't like it? That is the biggest thing you have to think about here. If I make a painting and I think it's ugly, how can I in turn turn around and sell it to someone even though they love it, I'm the artist, I'm the one who created it, I have to love it. I can't hate something and sell it to someone. So I, I just can't do it. So that's why I scraped it. And then um, I also had a lot of people ask me about um, all the extra paint. Do I save it? Unfortunately, I don't. And I'll tell you why. A lot of the times my tablecloth um, has resin on it, has dog hair on it there's dust on it from the construction so when i drop paint on it i can't exactly scrape it up and put it in a cup to use it because it's not clean there's gonna be something on it now yes you can say well put down a new clean tablecloth down before you you know pour but you know what how often do i scrape a painting very rarely and, you know, when I'm about to start a painting, the first thing on my mind is, hey, let me put a clean piece of plastic down to make sure in case I scrape it. I'm not worried about wasting some paint. What I am worried about is wasting a canvas. These level three gallery wrap canvases aren't cheap. I'd rather scrape it and do a better piece and be happy with it than worry about wasting paint. So just wanted to answer that and tell people why, A, I don't save paint and why I scrape things when I'm not happy with them. All right, so let's check out the piece with the lights off. All right, guys, so here we are with the studio lights off. And let's check out that shimmer. There it is. I knew it'd be here. Look at that. So when this piece is dry, obviously it's going to get crystal resin. And it is available for purchase for anyone who is interested in this piece. As I mentioned, it's a 16 by 20 inch piece. All right. And there you have it. So there it is. Now let me show you guys my uh, studio door. One second. All right, so my dad was here working today and he got fixed the wall, obviously. He's got some drywall up, some mudding. And then here's the door. I'm gonna close it so you can see. Um, it still has the protective wrap on it, but it is glass in there. So it'll be nice glass so the light comes in from the other room. But I gotta paint the door first before I peel the glass off. But look, I'm gonna close this side now, like so. And then there you go. So I've got a door. So I'm super excited. Needs a little more mudding and then sanding, then priming and then painting. Obviously I've been busy. I am going to paint it gray, which is the same color as the main floor. But uh, I'm so excited to have a door. My dad's got to fix that next. Um, but yeah, very, very happy to have a door, yay. And then today I picked up um, two four by eight sheets of MDF. Um, and my dad is going to start building my new table. Super excited. All right, back to the painting. 
All right, look at this mess. Oh my gosh. All right, so current studio room, teeny tiny. <laughs> I can't wait to get into the new space. So there you have it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please subscribe to my channel. All the info you need is in the description below. Loli Vefi discount, Crystal Resin discount, Arteza discount. Uh, my links to my Amazon shops are also listed below. Um, and that's it. So until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.